Hey y'all, it's Sky here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a YouTube video that um I've been wanting to do for a little minute and y'all have been asking for me to do and that's, what's this on my shirt? And that is my um perfume collection. What I have my perfume collection, my favorite perfumes that I use. I'm gonna show you all of them, okay? So some of them might not be my favorite so I'm gonna tell you why I like them, why I don't like them. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get the views up. I'm not playing, okay? But I'm still gonna keep uploading. I love y'all. First thing we're gonna go into, I'm just pulling from whatever is on top because I can't dig. But this is like one of the first like perfumes I really got. I think so. Um, this is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense Fragrance Mist. It still smells really good. This is not something that I wear really anymore. This is more like if I wanna spray it in my room, I want my room to smell good. I'm gonna spray that in it. But I used to wear this all the time. This was like my holy grail and I would just wear it. But again, like this is a fragrance mist. It's not like a perfume. So to me, it doesn't last as long, but it was still one of my favorites and had a good run. Um, I think this is my second bottle. This is my second bottle. So the next one we're gonna go into is another Victoria's Secret. This is the Coconut Granita. It smells like coconut. It smells very like, hmm, a little beachy, but coconut-ish. Like you're on vacation and this smells really good. Um, it says pink coconut shave, no, pink pineapple shave coconut summer crush. Exactly, it just smells like summer. So I really like it again. I don't use it as much now because I have other favorites, but I love this one. It does smell good. And again, if I don't use it, I just spray it in my room. So my room smells like coconut. The next one we're gonna go into, I have a lot of Victoria's Secrets. So the next one we're gonna go into is the Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion. This smells like the islands. It smells like coconut. It's like a very warm, a warm smell like to me, it smells like coconut, beach, and vanilla all in one. Like a very just warm smell. It reminds me of something too, but I can't. As you can see, I've used this one quite a bit. Um, again, do I use it as much now? No, I don't. But it still smells really, really good. Another one I have is Bronze Coconut Mist. Y'all can see I love coconut and summer smells, beachy smells, anything very warm. Some of these I have to like re-smell again. Um, I don't think this was one of my favorites. I just bought it because I had an obsession with buying um, different body mists and stuff at Pink and I just bought it. As you can see, I have not used that much of it, but it does smell good though, it does smell good. So again, if you're into like coconut, warm smells, definitely the last two that I just showed would be perfect for you. And as you can tell, I'm not very unique when it comes to smells. Like I get the same smell, but a different variation of it. So to me, they all smell different. This one is Victoria's Secret's Bare Vanilla Shimmer. I've used this, I think this is my sec This is my second bottle. It's just that classic like sweet vanilla smell, whipped vanilla, soft cashmere, and it shimmers on the skin. Now, I don't know, I, I don't remember it shimmering on my skin. I don't apply that much to where I could see glitter shimmer on my skin. I just put on my clothes, put it on top, a little bit on my neck and my wrist. But um, this does smell good. It's one of my favorites. So again, if you like that coconut, vanilla, the last three that I showed, and this, perfect for you. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of Victoria's Secret scents. I think that's what I really started off with. So if you're thinking like, why is it so many Victoria's Secret? Because my older stuff was in the back. So I took the, the newer stuff was in the front. So the newer stuff is, um, oh, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a creak in my house. Somebody was in my house. I'll be thinking of Michael Myers sometimes. Anyways, um, all the new stuff is at the bottom. So if you wanna stay tuned, okay? The, what I'm talking about right now is the older stuff. So just keep watching the video. Now we're gonna go into, um, Bath and Body Works. This is the fresh coconut and cotton. Here we go, another coconut. I just got this one. This one's okay. It's not my favorite. I don't know how to describe it. I definitely don't smell that much of the coconut. It's a different smell. It's a very like fresh smell. It's a fresh smell, but I'm not really like digging it. So I'll probably get rid of this one or maybe I'll keep it. It still smells good, but it's not, it doesn't really smell like coconut and cotton. 
But again, I don't know what cotton smells like. So maybe it does smell like cotton. But I'm not getting that coconut essence from it. So I would rate it probably like a... I'll give it a 4 out of 10. I'm going to start rating the perfumes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start rating them. Here's another one from Bath & Body Works. This is At The Beach. Y'all know I love my beach smells. I'm a, I'll am explain to you why I love beach smells. I got to find the fragrance. It's a very warm smell. I like it. Um, I just got this too. So like the bigger, bigger products are in the back. So that's why, even though this is newer, it was bigger. So it was in the back with the other stuff. But um, it smells really good. Again, is this something I'll probably wear all the time? No. But sometimes I buy fragrances and I literally will spray them in my room. So my room just smells like the beach. So I'll give this like a um, seven out of 10, six and a half, seven out of 10. This one I have, the Brazilian Crush, okay? This is 39. This is coconut cream and toasted praline. I think I'm saying that right. This is very like dessertish to me. Like it has a very strong smell. It literally describes it perfectly. Like to me, it just smells like a dessert or something. To me, it kind of has like a chocolatey, not chocolate, but it's something I can't, maybe it's the praline. I don't know what praline smells like. Um, it says top, coconut cream, warm vanilla, creamy sandalwood, and toasted praline. It's a very like heavy dessertish kind of smell. So if you're not into that, don't get it. I meant to get the bigger version of it because I had the bigger version of all the other ones. Um, but yeah, this smells really good. I can see this being a scent that would get on someone's nerves, like not to wear, don't wear it all the time. I would spray it in my room too. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Here is another Brazilian crush. I have the big one. This is 71, caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I think I love this one. Oh yeah, this to me, okay, perfect example is cereal. This smells like a cereal to me. I don't know what cereal. Maybe if it was like a um, chocolate chip, chocolate chip cereal or a hint of Lucky, Lucky Charm, something like that, but it smells like cereal and I love cereal. So yeah, it's definitely like, that's why I said the cookie cause chocolate chip cookie, I get that from this. So I get this a nine out of 10. Is this something I would wear all the time? No, I don't want to be smelling like a baked cookie all the time. Um, it's a scent that would kind of get on my nerves, but I do love this scent. Now we're going to go into this one. This is called Casablanca. I got this from Amazon. There's this lady on TikTok who literally is obsessed with perfumes and body lotions and she'll tell you um, what combinations of body lotion and perfume you should use. I forget her her username but i recently started following her i think it's like i don't know if it's yummy something or she's a really sweet lady but she put me on to this and it's not really my scent to me it's like an older scent i think she said it's supposed to smell like caramel and stuff i could smell it but it's not something i would wear um maybe i'll sell this on my poshmark if y'all want it i would have to it doesn't even say on here like how the other ones say like what the scent is or what it's supposed to give I don't know what this is really giving, but I don't like it. It's not my favorite, so maybe I will sell it on my Poshmark. My Poshmark name is SKAI Jack, Sky Jack. Um, I sell clothes from my personal closet a lot of the time, whatever else. So if y'all want me to sell some of my perfumes that are like not used and I maybe purchase it one time, then I will. I'll sell it to y'all. But I give this a two out of 10 because I don't like it. Again, y'all, when I say I don't like something, that doesn't mean the next person won't. Like I'm sure somebody wears that every day and loves that scent. And I'm sure that there's stuff that I wear that people wouldn't really like. Cause again, I'm into that very sweet, sugary, vanilla, coconut, beach, people or fruity. People don't like that. Sometimes people like that musky smell. I don't like that. This one is another Victoria's Secret. I recently got this one though. This is coconut milk and rose. I like this one. It does give rose. It does give coconut milk. Like it gives like milk and roses. I like it. So this is what it looks like. Um, it says feel calm with the scent, the scent of coconut milk and rose. I love this scent. I recently bought it a couple weeks ago when my dad was in town. He took me to the mall. I went pink. I got it. Super good. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. So this I got from Amazon too. I'm not gonna even try to say how to spell it. Ooh, the toy, I don't know, but the vanilla. This is one of my favorite scents. There's another one I have literally that smells identical, so I don't know what the difference is. Um, but again, the lady on TikTok was like, if you like vanilla smells, this is for you. And this is why I've been spending so much money on perfume, because of that lady. 
but I do appreciate her because she's put me on to so many scents. But this was on Amazon. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it smells really, really good. So I'll give it um, an 8 out of 10. And I love vanilla. It's a very strong vanilla smell. It's very strong. It's very sweet. So if you don't like that, then this is not for you. Remember how I said I love beach smells and that there was a beach scent that like put me into like getting into beach smells? It is this one here. As you can see, it barely has anything left. This was at Victoria's Secret. And I remember I went into the mall. I think I was at like, I don't know what mall I was at. And this was on clearance, like no one wanted to buy it. And I'm like, why? Because when I tell you, this smells like the ocean and the beach in a bottle, okay? This smells so good. This is like a 10 out of 10 right here. Again, I don't use it as much because I don't know if they still sell it. I've never seen it again in their stores. I'm sure there's resellers that have this. Um, so I might have to buy another bottle. Literally look at how much there is. This is like always my, it literally smells like the sea. Like the sea, but not like fishy and stank when people think of the sea. People always think like, oh, it smells like the sea. Oh, it smells like, no, it smells like if you think of the perfect sea that you could think of and the beaches and the water and hot, like it just smells so good. So this is a 10 out of 10, as you can see, cause I use all of it basically. This one is the Moschino Fresh Couture. This is the pink bottle. This one, it smells good. I don't wear it every day. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, sometimes I miss it in my room, but it's a fresh smell. I like that it smells very fresh. It's not too heavy. I just wish they would change the bottle and make you be able to spray it out of like the spray bottle rather than taking it off. I think that would be so cute. But I wanted to order all of them. Someone said the gold bottle smells like pepper or something, so I don't know if I wanna get that. And then the classic one, I can't remember what they said that smelled like, but I love pink. Y'all know I have an obsession with pink. So I got this one and it smells really good. So I'll give it an eight out of 10. Now we're gonna go into pink sugar. When I was a little girl, the original one was like my jam. I would get it from Nordstrom. I would run to Nordstrom Rack, get pink sugar. So then I found out they had one called red velvet and it's, it's very similar to the original. It's a little bit different. It's not my favorite. Um, to me, does it doesn't smell like red velvet. Like you would think if you think of red velvet, maybe like a cakey kind of like a sweet cakey smell. I don't get that. It's very similar to the original, but there's something different about it that I don't like. Um, so I'll give this a five out of 10 just because I probably won't use it. It's probably just gonna sit there until I run out of the original and then I'll use this as like a second option. But I love pink sugar. This is my holy grail when I was like seven, eight, nine in middle school. I love pink sugar products. Now we have the original. Now I recently ordered this like a month and a half ago because I literally have not worn it since I was um, nine years old or 10. And then that lady from TikTok had this up on there and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally used to use this all the time when I was little. Again, it's a very strong sugary smell. Um, so again, if you don't like real strong scents, this is not for you. I like strong smells. I want you to smell me from a mile away. I want to smell like pink sugar all day and it literally smells like sugar. This one has always been my favorite, will be a classic and I will always use. Like if I had to pick one perfume, I'll probably use this for the rest of my life. So I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Well, I'll give it a nine and a half, nine and a half out of 10. Now we're gonna talk about the Nicki Minaj perfume, okay? First of all, I'm obsessed, obsessed with this bottle. I know this came out years ago, but someone was selling it. Like they didn't use it and then was selling it. And I have another one too. And I was like, I need it. This smells so good. It's like, hmm, sweet, a little flowery. I can't even describe it, but it smells really good. She got, look, she got the chain on and everything. This is just, a, this bottle alone is a work of art. Just look at it. She got the wig on. She like, this is, this is giving rich and expensive to the overpowered 10th limit. I don't even know what to describe it, but I love this scent. I love this bottle. So this automatically is a 10 out of 10. And yeah, I have another one, so I will show y'all. But I know this came out a long time ago. I need Nikki to make another scent because when I met her in person, she smells so good. 
I'm like, girl, you need to make another one. I didn't tell her that, but I should have. You need to make another perfume now. Like, right now. I need something that's sweet and fruity. I need something that's vanilla-y and, like, cookies and cream. I need it all, Nikki. So, you need to make another perfume. I don't wear her as much because she just looks so pretty. I don't want to. But I have before, and she smells really good. This here is... Lotus Desire by Victoria's Secret. I don't know how to describe it. It's a, it's a, it's flowery. Um, it says White Lotus Deep Woods. That's exactly what it's given. White Lotus Deep Woods. It's very good. It to me, it's more of a mature smell. It's still sweet, so it's not too mature. But if I want to feel grown, I'll put this on. If I want to feel like a grown woman, even though I am grown but um i'm just playing y'all but it smells really good so i'll give this an 8 out of 10. um i think i picked this up a couple months ago maybe a year ago but shoot i have so many perfumes i don't even have time to wear all of them like i go on rotation and i have my favorites but like, just like i have so many shoes in my closet literally i'll stick to my same favorite pairs of shoes and i got 30 others waiting that's just how i am now we're gonna go in with the body Ecology watermelon splash. I have the body wash too. I don't think they sell this. This is I love watermelon. I love smelling sweet like fruit and candy. I don't think they sell this anymore. So I bought this off of someone on Poshmark who was selling the entire set that was untouched, and it just smells so good and fruity. Um, so I try not to use it as much because I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think they. Um, sell this anymore because I looked on their website and I didn't see it so I don't know but it smells really really good so I'll give this a nine and a half out of ten okay now we have the Mugler Mug Mugler I think it's Mugler Mugler I don't think it's Mugler it's Mugler um perfume to me it's an older tone um it's there I think it's the newest perfume that came out they were so nice enough to send it to me um this is another one I would spread to my room I don't wear this all the time, but it does smell really, really good. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, but this is for someone that's, this is definitely not fruity. I smell that flowery aspect in it, but I can't put put it on the nail of what the scent is. But it smells really good. So yeah, I like the smell. And then I like, sometimes, you know, when you spray something, it's like, mm, I don't like it. But when it settles in, it smells good. That's that's what this is giving. So I'll give it a, um, what did I say, 8 out of 10? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Bath and Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. Literally, this smells like a strawberry pound cake. It smells so good. It's very strong, very sweet. So if you don't like that scent, this is not for you. But I bought two of these. It's like two strawberry pound cakes by um, Bath and Body Works, but it has different labels on it. So I don't know if there's supposed to be a difference. I don't really know. But it smells so good. I have like the body lotion and stuff. So I'll give this a uh, 8 out of 10. Usually I wear this at night. Um, after I get out the shower, I put my body lotion on. I put this on. This is like my go-to. This one is the Jimmy Choo one. My friend got this for me. My friend Sophia. And it smells really good. Sophia is really good at picking out. The good. Oh! That's right. That's what I call for your mama. <laughs> She's really good at picking out good scents. But um, I don't wear this all the time anymore. But it smells really good. I think that she got this for my birthday. Yeah, she got this for my birthday. So thank you, Sophia. As you can see, it's like, it's not halfway, but it's almost halfway down. I do like the scent. I would wear it every day for a period. But then I got other stuff that I like. And it's kind of, you know, I didn't use it as much. I keep hearing something like Michael Myers is in my house around the corner trying to disturb me. <laughs> Got him. I, I, I'm not, I seen the last movie. We'll talk about that in another video. But I get scared when I'm home by myself and I hear a little something drop or something move. Because I'm like, is Michael in here? You know Michael don't talk. So it's like, what, what you got going on? Shoot around the corner trying to scare me. But shoot, I ain't scared of Michael. We'll, we'll both stare at each other looking crazy, too. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. But it does scare me that he doesn't talk, he don't say nothing, and he just gets straight to the business, so. And he gonna find you. Even 
40 years later, he's still gonna find you. And he's so old. He, Michael's like 70 years old. It's like, find something new to do, Michael. Find a new job. Find a new passion and desire in life. You are too old. You are. You need to go into the senior citizen home. Something. Let these people leave. Get off of the streets. He is stuck in the streets, and I don't appreciate that. And I started thinking to myself, man, what did he do to make them that mad? But, um, I like this scent. Okay, here we go again. Warm vanilla sugar. Basically, I got the same scents, different variations of it. This is, smells really good. I don't even need to explain. It gives what it says. Um, I give this a eight and a half out of ten. This one here, same scent, different variation and title. Waikiki Beach Coconut. How many coconuts and beach scents is this? Um, let me see. I can't really smell it. Mm-hmm. I like this. It's given. It's very sweet. It says tropical white coconut, salt water breeze, sun beach woods. It's definitely given that, but it's given like a sweeter, a sweeter scent to it. So I'll give this a nine out of ten. I really like smelling like the beach and like Hawaii. It definitely gives Hawaii. Alright, y'all. Here we go. Another Nicki Minaj fragrance. This one smells really good too. Again, it's like that flowery. I'm kind of, I can't really spell it. I'm not about to spray it, but it smells really good. I've worn it a couple of times, but I'm probably not going to wear it that much because it just looks so pretty in the bottle. So I'm going to just let it sit. It look pretty. Like I said, with some of my bags and shoes, they just, they look pretty and cute in my closet. This is going to look pretty and cute on my shelf because I'm not about to ever run out of her. But, um, and perfumes can last for years. So I'm going to just automatically give her a tan. All right, now this is Iggy Azalea's perfume. It's a very mature smell. Like I get woods from it and it's just a very mature smell. It's not my favorite on me. Like I like the scent, but you know how like every scent doesn't work on everyone. So like this, I sprayed it on my friend and like she loved it and it smelled so good on her, but it smelled different on me. I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes I'll spray this in my room and you know I love it. All right, I'm filming a video. Sometimes my dog be making me think Michael's around the corner. He be barking and I, I feel bad because I tell him to be quiet. But he could really be trying to tell me something. Anyways, we gonna just keep going. Um, all right, Otis. All right. You know I love my girl Iggy Azalea. So I'll give her a 7 out of 10. I do think she smells I do think she smells good. Um, just for someone maybe that's like older than me. And again, I like stuff that's fruity and beachy and coconut and milky and that's this is not what that's given so it's very different this one i recently got a couple weeks ago this is basic vanilla vanilla marshmallow warm chai i definitely smell the chai in this i don't really smell marshmallow i'm trying to find the perfect marshmallow scent if y'all have it or know of like marshmallow scent please let me know um, it's this pure vanilla obsession and it's very cozy. So I'll give this a eight and a half out of ten. I recently bought it, so I haven't worn it too much to really like tell you. But I like it. So eight and a half out of ten. Alright, y'all. Here's another pink sugar. This is called berry blast. It's given very berry, like very um blueberry. Yeah, I'll give this a eight and a half out of ten. Again, it still gives a classic pink sugar smell, just a hint of like um, berry infused with it. Okay, here's another smell. This is called floral marshmallow. I'm not getting marshmallow from it. I get very, it gets very floral. Someone, it was that lady on TikTok, she said this smelled like the Killian perfume, the one that's like $300 that Rihanna sells. I don't know if that's true. Um, cause I wanted to buy it, but I'm like, I'm not about to spend 300 on perfume and not know what it smells like. So if it smells just like this, then I probably wouldn't get it. But, um, I'll give this like a 5 out of 10 because I don't wear it. Um, and it just does not give marshmallow. I'm very much getting amber, musk, and vanilla, and jasmine, and all of that. This is from Bath & Body Works. This is white coconut caramel. And it gives that. It gives very much like... I don't want to say chocolate, but it gives like dark caramel. Exactly what it says. So I'll give this a nine out of 10. It's very similar to one of the Brazilian cards. The ones that I said that kind of smells like 
cookies and stuff. So if you don't want to spend as much, get this. This is like a dupe. I don't, I can't remember which one. It may have been the macadamia one. The one where I said it smells like um, chocolate chip cookie. So I'll give it a eight out of 10. Here we go. I have another Brazilian crush. This is pistachio salted caramel. Again, gives exactly what it says on the bottle. I love how the big bottles look. It's so cute. And this is, it says it's a body fragrance mist and hair mist. So I guess you could spray it in your hair, make your hair smell good. I don't know if that would dry your hair out, but um, let me know in the comments if y'all use it as a hair mist. And I'll give this a nine out of 10. I love all of their stuff. So pretty much all of them will give a nine out of 10. Here's another one, Brazilian Crush. This is number 68. This is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. Um, gives you exactly what it says on the bottle. It smells really good, nine out of 10. I love all of their fragrances, so yeah. The other ones are more like cookie and fruity. These are more like floral and um, sweet. That's a perfect way to describe it. This I think I got from Amazon. This is called Vela Vanilla Extreme by Sud something, I don't know. I don't think it's one of my favorites. I don't really wear it. This is a scent I would just spray in my room. But yeah, it's okay. I'll give it like a six out of 10. But I have so many other vanilla favorites. This is just not one of them. But do not sleep on like Amazon's perfume, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret. Sometimes they, they're given more than the expensive ones and last longer, if I'll say. So do not sleep on the cheaper perfumes. This one is just not my favorite. And I can't remember if it was cheap. I don't think it was. I can't remember the price. This one here is the same one as this. And I said they smell exactly the same, but I just use this one. This is called the vanilla. To me, it just smells like the same thing in a different bottle. So please let me know what the difference is. Um, but this is my favorite. I wear this the most every day. Um, if it's a vanilla scent, I'll do the vanilla um, body lotion, not by this brand, but a vanilla body lotion, put this on top. Again, this is very, very sweet. Sometimes when I spray it, I start coughing and choking because it's just so strong. But I like how it matches with my skin and it, how it settles in. So I'll definitely give this a 9 out of 10. All right, y'all. We got the Baccarat 540. I bought this for my birthday. Um, my 20th birthday when I was in New York. I don't wear it all the time. This is strictly for special occasions, events when I'm out, etc. This is a 10 out of 10. It just smells rich and expensive. This was expensive. I think I paid like 300 or something for this perfume. But this is like my only birthday gift to myself. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just suck it up and buy it. Um, but I definitely love it. And this is like my favorite one out of all the Baccarat smells. Oh, we got a couple more to go. Y'all, I'm trying to bust them out, bust them out. Cause my son is hungry. He looking at me with a stank face. Like, mommy, I wanna eat. I'm tired of you doing these videos. Please tend to me. I, I'm coming. Um, this was my favorite when I was younger, um, a couple years ago. This is called the Wall Poppy. It's very strong, very strong. It, but it, the scent started to get on my nerves. That's why I stopped wearing it. It's very fiery, very sweet, like through the roots of where it gave me a headache kind of. Um, but it didn't at first. So I think I kind of just grew out of the scent. But this, as you can see, this is like my holy grail. It's almost at the bottom. And I'm going to start using it again. So I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Here we go again. Same scent, different variation. This is Victoria's Secret's Bare Vanilla Sunkiss. Gives what exactly this says on the bottom. Vanilla, sunkiss, sweet, warm, beachy. Um, and yeah. So this is a 9 out of 10. This is something that I would wear almost every day. It's halfway through. Um, but I have new vanilla favorites, so I don't use it as much but i do love the scent this here is my girl eilish by billy eilish this smells really good hold on i'm trying to spray it so i can smell it again i can't my nose my nose is not even working because i got like four other perfumes stuck in there but from what i remember it smells really good i don't wear it every day just because i love this bottle here this is like a masterpiece i love this billy did her thing with this so i'm just gonna give it a 10 out of 10 um and yeah so this is eilish by billy eilish it looks so pretty i put it in the front of my shelf where i keep all my perfumes and it's really just giving like an art piece i love this i love this now y'all let me tell you this is an oil but this is my favorite this is called kumba main vanilla bean fragrance oil this is like the, the most vanilla bean fragrance oil you can get 
this right here smells so good i have the little bottle this is like my fourth one that i've gone through you can get it from amazon you can get it from their website um this just smells so good so any vanilla fragrance i put on i always put this on too put on my wrist my neck and it just always melts so well with the other perfumes that i have even if it's not the same brand so 10 out of 10. we have this this is saint Tropez beach and orchid again it's getting very beachy, sun-kissed. I love it. Same perfume, different variation. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I don't use it as much, but it smells so good. I, now, I haven't smelled all my perfumes in so long, so now I'm going to start wearing ones that I haven't used in a while. Um, but this, I love Victoria's Secret scents. Like, I'm a big fan of Victoria's Secret and their perfumes and whatnot. So this is definitely it. This here, this is by Cara... Carolina Herrera. I got this um, in the airport on the way back to Anguilla, from Anguilla. This is a very strong smell. I can't, it's kind of flowery. I can't put my um, finger on a nail of what the scent is, but I love the heel. It is so cute and it sprays out a lot. I don't want it on me, but it smells so good. And um, it says the bottle is up to here so like half of it is gone i got this a little over a year ago and this is like my go-to and i love to spray it in my room it smells so good so 10 out of 10. okay y'all we have two more but we're gonna go in with ariana grande this perfume here this is another one that smells like very fresh i can't even smell but very fresh and i love ariana i don't wear it as much um but sometimes like if i'm folding clothes I like spray my clothes with like a spritz of this, fold my clothes, put it in my drawer so it smells like this perfume. Smells so good. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10 just because I don't use it all the time now. Ariana came in clutch with the perfumes. I wanna try the new one. It says it smells like pear or something. Um, so I'm gonna pick that up. I think they have it at Ulta, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna pick that up and I'll review that for you guys next time. Last one we have is Burberry Her. This here is a very strong smell. Um, it kind of gets on my nerves sometimes. Now I heard they have a new version that's even better and more like smells creamier. So I might pick that up and see. Um, I bought the mini version just in case if I didn't like it. I like it, it's just a very strong smell and it just is very overpowering, that's the word. Um, so sometimes I don't like to use it, but literally like all I do is spritz it and walk into the mist and that's all I need because that is enough right there. I don't know how many perfumes that was and I love you guys so much. I'm going to try to do another YouTube video soon. Maybe I'll do an updated Q&A. Y'all can let me know what y'all want. And um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I love y'all. Bye.